In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you now can use the Simon experiment that we have set up in a larger study with multiple participants. Now, there are actually multiple ways to do this. One way is that you would run your study uh, in the laboratory, and you can do that just by sticking with this experiment here. You can even go in full screen mode. Uh, what you would do is you add a, a section called options and you can say full screen. And if you do that, uh, the experiment would run in full screen mode as you would do in a typical laboratory experiment. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm just leaving the experiment as it was before. And I'm going to show you how you can set up an online experiment. In order to do that, you go to create and you say create new survey. Before we said create new experiment and we created the Simon experiment. Now we're going to create a new survey in which the Simon experiment is going to be embedded. So I click create new survey. I go to method one, complete a new survey. And I'm going to call this Simon study. And I'm going to say then, okay, I'm going to click this button and now it's created. So now if I browse down a little bit, I see this is in my surveys. Uh, it's called here Simon study. So look, uh, if you look at experiments, there's still the experiment Simon, and there is now a survey called Simon, Sur Simon Study. Uh, it is a little bit like an experiment. There are these boxes where I can enter code. A survey always starts with uh, an example question. I don't need that, so I'm going to remove that. Also, there is a scripting help top. So that explains how to program online surveys. I'm going back to the uh, to the main tab here. Uh, I'm going to show you in the next video what code to enter, but I just want to show you quickly what else there is to do. If I browse down, I say you, I can save code. Uh, there is a compile option, just like in experiments. Um, there is information about the welcome screen and so on that you can choose. We're going to enter all this information later as well. I'm going to show you that. You can make your survey online. We're going to do that and so on. And you can download participant data. Of course, there's zero different participants now because we've just set it up. In the next video, I'm going to show you all these things. But the first thing that you need to have done is set up the survey. And also very important, sometimes students make this mistake, very important here is that the scripting language for setting up a survey is completely different from the scripting language used for the experiments.